Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red Episode 2. Yes, that's it. I am Spitted X, and in this part, we will be going exploring in Route 22. And by exploring, I mean I've already explored it, I've already grinded, and, uh, you know, look at my party. I, uh, went, I took the liberty of catching two Pokemon. I will actually, uh, sort through them right now, for those of you who care. To look at Axe Nature, blah, 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 blah. If you want to see these, I'm just showing them off right now. I got a uh, Spiro. I named him his sassy nature. That's actually hilarious. I named him after Cherry Conroy for uh, uh, for a surprise reason, just for fun. And he's a sassy nature, which I think is hilarious. Um, and I, I uh, trained it up. I think five levels was it? Oh no, only three levels. And uh, it learned Leer. And then uh, he was a good old Tweety. Do do do. And then. Here's Kerchok, and cookies to anyone that knows who that is, I'll be very happy, and if you laugh, I'll be even happier, because I like I like this reference, and it is amazing, and I'll have to evolve it only for that reason. And uh, it also knows low kick, which is going to be really useful. And then, of course, I have my uh, Tesla, which, oh, careful, that's actually kind of interesting. Yeah, so... Uh, so I did that, and actually right up ahead is an optional uh, rival battle, if you, you're so pleased to uh, do it. I don't believe you ever need to do them again. Um, well, you need to do them at the end of the game, but that's beside the point. Anyways, uh, he's just gonna basically tell us that the guards won't run through because, I don't know, I guess Gary thought it was a good idea to catch a Pidgey, what amounts to a Pidgey, and a Bulbasaur sword trading more of mine and go to the Elite Four. I don't know what kind of, um strategy he had for defeating them, but uh, he's just a cocky bastard, right? Anyways, yeah, Tim also learned a quick attack, which is very useful in this case, because I can just completely own face of his Pidgey. See, I, I took six damage. Jeez, I actually didn't expect it to go that quite that well, but uh, let's see, Bulbasaur. I'm actually going to send out uh, Tweedwerk. Tweedwerk. Wait, do I not have Gust? I do not think I have Gust yet. Which is relatively annoying, but uh, you know, uh, maybe see if I can maybe get him out. Actually, I'll use this strategy. Use the ultimate dick strategy. Well, I digress. The ultimate dick strategy is definitely the use of, like, a uh, double team. But accuracy falling is always really annoying, especially when you're just like, oh, here's my... Yeah, like, just like that. That's terrible. But I want to get my, uh... I want to get my experience... I said that in a weird way. For Tweety Bird, so... Yeah, fuck everything. I mean, I, I, I feel a little cheap doing it, but if it was a rival trainer... Well... By rival trainer, I mean the uh, actual person. I might feel a little bit worse about it, but I don't feel bad about this at all. Eh, fuck you. Anyways, it's watching. It's like a watching Tweety Bird just like beat down on Sylvester. It's just, it's gr it's satisfying. It's gratifying. It's all sorts of happiness just being bundled up into like a taco, and it's just amazing. It's a delicious taco of just defeat. Just Gary, Fanny, Fanny, just pull, pull some tears out of that Fanny pack. I am just so happy I just absolutely demolished you. And to make it even better, he... Tweety learned Gust. Of course he did. Right after he beat it, what could be useful against it. Anyways. Now that we've uh, taken care of Dizzy, he'll tell us that, uh... Yeah, it's called Crawling with Truck... Huh. He's crawling with tough trainers. That's a tongue twister. And he has to figure out how to get past them. And, uh, yeah. He has a little theme song, too, but... If you come over here, there'll just be another uh, patch of grass, same kind of things, um, man keys, uh, spearows, ratatas, and I don't think any pitches are over there. I'm pretty sure it's the same as right here, which I'll show off, but, you know, why waste time? Anyways, if we just move on over here, I'm going to uh, quickly heal, and then we'll make our way back up, alright? Alright, and we are back, and we're just going to move our way back up, even more up to... Oh, uh, that would then stopped us. I'm sure all of you saw this coming. Well now, I've had my coffee, and that's just what I need to get going. Hmm? What is that red box you have? Ah, so you're working on your Pokedex. Then let me give you a word of advice. Whenever you catch a Pokemon, the Pokedex automatically updates its data. You don't know how to catch a Pokemon? Well, yes, fuck you, I have four Pokemon right now! What do you think I have? Oh my god. Well, basically we have to sit through this, um, this old man that, like... I don't know, he kind of looks like Onoki from, uh, Naruto. A little bit. He's way taller, by all means, but... Anyways, I guess he... In his vast 
elderly wisdom, he'll throw this Pokeball at a level 5 Weedle without weakening him at all, and hope to get him. That's not quite what I suggest, but, uh, I guess it'll do. I guess sometimes it works. I mean, I, it's definitely worked for me before, but I would always suggest weakening him first. There! Now tell me! That was educational, was it not? And here, take this too. Basically, the, uh, even more extended tutorial. I don't need it. I've never used it, ever. Well, I take that back. I used it once when I didn't know what it was, and then I'm just like, why? Anyways, here we are on Route 2. There's not really all that much we can do here right now. There, of course, is this, uh, slim tree thing that looks like, uh, testicles. That we can't really get past any or do anything right now. So now we are going over to, what's behind this store? Well, 1010, what do you have to say? Ratatata may be small, but don't underestimate this wicked bite. Have you caught one already? Why, yes, I have. I named it Tim. She is very annoyed at that name. Are you going to Viridian Forest? It's a natural maze in there. Be careful, you don't get lost. Well, I completely disagree that that's a natural cave, or sorry, cave maze, but uh, what do you have to say to her? I came over with some friends to catch up some uh, catch some bug Pokemon. They were all itching to get into some battles. Uh, well, I guess if you get a bug Pokemon under your clothes, it might itch. Let's actually quickly grab this. I believe it's an antidote. Oh, it's a potion. Oh, I'm I stand corrected. What do you have to say, sir? I was throwing Pokeballs to catch Pokemon and it ran out. Uh, okay. We're good. Oh, well, what, random battle? Uh, it's just a Kikuna. I don't know. I'll probably catch one of these later off camera as well. Just there's no need to actually show people this, but uh. Let's just uh, keep on going. I'll probably be cutting out the random encounters unless I see something I really want. So, uh, you won't need to worry about that too much. Later on, I'll actually have repels that'll make this a lot, a lot, a lot easier. And there's nothing back there. There's nothing back there. Huh. I could have sworn there was something here. Anyways, I'm hoping to find a one Pokemon here for uh, multiple purposes, actually, but it's very rare. It's actually a Pikachu. I'd love to get a Pikachu, but. On my uh, failed recording as well as my practice result, I have actually found a Pikachu. I just really doubt I'll find one now. So yeah, I'll start cutting out random battles now. You don't need to worry about them anymore. Oh yeah, unless of course I find a Pikachu, but let's see. I actually have a story to tell about this. Um, when I played Pokemon, uh, this is actually completely irrelevant. And I can't believe I kept talking through that. I apologize. But when I played uh, Pokemon Blue and Pokemon Yellow as a kid, I... Uh, I was the only one with like Pokemon Blue. My sister actually, uh, really, my older sister got really into Pokemon as well, and god damn, I keep, okay, well there's a Weedle here too, I do something new, but, okay. Yeah, when I was a kid, uh, I had Pokemon Blue, my sister really liked it or whatever, and, uh, she ended up getting Pokemon Yellow, we both end up getting Pokemon Yellow together, that's why it's actually, uh, really nostalgic for me to be playing this, and, do you know, um, I guess I got closer to my sister through that? I don't know. So if I do find a Pikachu, I intend to name it uh, Ash or Ashley for more reasons than just because Ash is, uh, Ash is from the anime. But, okay, you are... there you go. I'll also be skipping these trainers, coming back to them to, uh, to grind off-screen. I mean, you can avoid all of them but one, which I will be showing. And, oh my god, I just keep forgetting to... <laughs> I keep forgetting to stop in place. I shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, it's actually really nostalgic, and I actually remember playing it, and I think my sister had my blue version. She started playing it, and she deleted my file, and I just got... Oh, as a kid, I had anger management issues, like, seriously. Like, now the only time I get angry is during video games, but... And damn it, I just... Oh, Pikachu! Oh! Okay, I didn't... Level 5, too, jeez. Well, I guess, uh... <laughs> I guess I... Okay, that actually did a little bit more than I thought it would. But let's see if we can't catch this Pikachu. I've, I did end up going, by, going and buying more uh, Pokeballs as well, because I knew I'd need them. But, uh, come on, come on, come on. No, okay. Well, this is basically what catching a Pokemon looks even more like. It's because there's actually failure. Unlike with, like, the Rattata, Tim, and uh, with Tweety. Yeah. P P Pokemon like Pikachu are a lot harder to catch in the sense that I can't really do anything right now because I can't get it down any lower because of course this is my... I think Tim might be my weakest Pokemon and I still did a good like more than two-thirds of its health. So and it's just like wearing me down, wearing me down and it's really kind of annoying because I just kind of want to... I kind of want to actually like, get somewhere, you know? So, can you please, like, maybe, like, catch and do the thing, the jiggle, the baba? 
No, you're just gonna reduce my. Actually, if you keep reducing that, I'll be very happy. Like, make it go so it can't go any lower, and I'll be very happy about that. Because I only have two Pokeballs left after this. One, two, three. Oh God damn it! Uh, well, what can I? I don't have any status ailments, do I? No, I don't. So I guess I'll do a tail whip. Actually, no, that's terrible. Why am I? Why am I reducing its defense? No, I should actually be like changing or something. I don't know. Huh? Come on! Oh, come, come on, Rattata! Come on, Tim. Uh, okay, you can go. That's fine. Um, heck, things. Um, let's actually take a look at the summaries because I don't, I don't want to lose this Pikachu. They're so fucking rare. Uh, growl. Um, sand attack. Um. 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 This is so. This is so stressful. I did not call for this. I will sand attack you. Mm, I don't know what's, uh. Jeez. Okay, I know you're growling me. I know my attack is falling. That's good. I actually do quite appreciate that. But at the moment, I would love if you would just, like, not kill me for one. But for two, I'm just trying to make you weaker in any way. I don't know if, like, reducing stats actually does anything. But I am just nervous. I am pressing my A button. That's actually my Z on my keyboard. Just over and over again. Just hoping, hoping, hoping to God that I can catch this fucking Pikachu. I'll be very disappointed if I can't. Thundershock hit again. I'm actually kind of surprised. I've used four sand attacks on it. If I was using... If I was using Thunder with Shock, then I wouldn't. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't be hitting. I probably wouldn't have hit after the first one, even if I. There you go. There you go. I'll probably try again after it's, it can't be reduced anymore, which I think is five. So that's equal to the amount of his level. I'll try again right now and uh, come on, Pokemon gods, Pokemon catching gods, please allow me to catch this Pikachu. One, two, three. Yes. Ha. I am very happy about that. I'm very satisfied. I mean, yeah, suck it, Pikachu. Oh, please don't, but, uh... It has small electric sacks on both its cheeks. If threatened, it loses electrical charge from its sacks. Okay, that sounds overtly sexual. I'm actually gonna name you. Like I said, I will name her. I'm actually got as a female, otherwise that'd be awkward. I'll name her Ash. Uh, I'm gonna put an E at the end of it, too, just to make it distinct. And I'm very happy about that. I will now actually start cutting these out. If I do get into a trainer, not trainer battle. If I do get into a wild battle, I'll be happy that that won't uh, that that won't uh, really affect anything anymore. But uh, yeah, so I'm very happy that I have a full party right now. Uh, my OCD doesn't allow it. Uh, just a second, and I'm back. And uh, oh yeah, required trainer battle right here. You can't really get past him. It's the only one in the whole entire forest, so it's not all that too bad. I mean, it's just this random guy named Bugcatcher Sammy, which is ironic because that's the. That is actually. Well, it's coincidental, but that's the l name of my little sister, Samantha. So it's just like a whole, like, we are family moment. It's just, I caught my sis. I caught my older sister and my younger sister. I'm destroying with a. With Emil, the Let's Player, which. That's actually really strange. I should. Oh well. Stranger things have happened, and we defeated Sammy. I give! You're good at this! Oh, well, thank you. Man, I just started, like, uh... What, like, 20 minutes of video time? Something like that? 30 minutes? I don't know, I'm just kind of, like, making my way, and I kept talking through Weedle coming up, and I apologize for that. And, uh... Let's see if we can't maybe get through here at the top? Anyways, yeah, let's actually just keep going. What does this old man have to say? Have you noticed the skinny trees on the roadside? Indeed, I have. They look like ball sacks. They can be cut down by a special Pokemon here. I just completely skipped two words, but uh, the fact that he said cut down the testicles has just terrified me into talking to this person, but... Many Pokemon live only in the forest of caves. You need to be persistent look everywhere to get different kinds. Well, thank you. And what do you have to say? Do you know the evolution cancel technique? Well, yes, you just press B. It's not going to tell me? That would have been funny. I, I, I'm going to be honest, that would have been hilarious if they told me that. But of course, not going to tell me that. They're just going to say it exists, and things aren't very happy. So anyways, guys, in the next part, we will actually be going all the way up here, and actually, I'm going to find a secret item first. Because, you know, secrets are... Secret secrets, they are fun. Secret secrets tell everyone, or something. I think it's right here. No? Is it right there? No? Okay, I'm trying to turn around. Is it there? 
I know it's somewhere around here. There it is. I found a Pokeball. I need that because I have like two now. Anyways, in the next part, guys, we will be taking on Pewter City Pokemon Gym. Brock, the rock solid Pokemon trainer. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next part. Bye now.